your question is the equation x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 had roots minus 5 and 7. Find the value of b and the value of c. Now we have to find out the value of b that is here and c is here. And they have given the roots. So you can see the variable here. So it can be solved in uh, two methods. So first we will go for the shortcut method, then we will go for a long method. Hmm? No. So you can see B is with X. In a middle term splitting, what we are doing there? At B, we are adding or subtraction there. That means B is nothing but it's a minus of minus of sum of the two roots. And C is nothing but what? Product of two roots. Now, we will try to do in this our standard form, what we will get. You can see x square, here they have given plus. But we know that b is nothing but minus of sum of that roots. So, we will write minus and sum of the two roots. That means minus 5 plus 7. x plus c. c is nothing but product of two roots. The product is what? Minus 5 into 7. That gives you 0. Now solve this. Here you will get x square minus minus 5 plus 7 is 2. That means 2x. Here minus 35. 5 into 7 is 35. 35 minus plus is minus. 35. That gives you 0. Now this is your equation. Now you can say what is your B? B is no, nothing but minus 2. We can say B is equal to minus 2. And C is nothing but minus 35. C is equal to minus 35. So this is your shortcut method. Now we will go for a long method. What they have given the root C that minus 5 and 7. That means that is the value of x. So now we can say x is equal to minus 5. And x is equal to 7. Bring the value constant to your left side. Here you will get x plus 5. And here what you will get? x minus 7. Now multiply it. That is equal to 0. Multiply it. You will get x square minus 7x plus 5x minus 35 that gives you 0. Now solve this. x square minus 2x minus 35 that gives you 0. Again you got the same equation here. See this. Therefore we can say b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to minus 35. You can follow any of the method, but try to remember this thing. B and C. B is nothing but minus of sum of the two roots and C is nothing but C is the product of two roots. 